One of the most significant sign of power is the bicep flex. Arnold Schwarzenegger did it, Sylvester Stallone did it, Terry Crews did it, Dwayne Johnson did it. Even in the movie Predator, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Carl Weathers, their famous bicep shake. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel where I share honest information about fat loss and fitness. My name is Bong and I'm gonna start a new series about workout routine. So I'm gonna share more content about weightlifting and weight training. Bicep curl is one of the most common workouts other than bench press, chin up and squats. Well, if you go to any gym at all, you'll see a lot of people doing the most simple workout which is the bicep curl. And that's because everyone is looking into building a bigger arm. Well, most of them they think if you have big arm, you don't need any other muscles. Well, some of them. And that's because most of us are wearing short sleeves. And well, the only protruding place is your arms. Well, I wonder if they ever think about their calves because most of the time we are wearing shorts. Even me now, I'm wearing my shorts. And the only place that is most significantly showing is your calves. So why aren't anybody training their calves? <laughs> Stick around to the end for a few tips which I'm gonna share on how you can improve your performance and results. So let's get down to it. There's no such thing as a perfect bicep workout. As long as you are training, as long as you are pushing up, as long as you are squeezing it and flexing it, you will be training your bicep for maximum growth. But what I do believe is there is a most optimal form and conditioning that you can train your bicep from the grip, the angle and the tempo. So let's break down the bicep so you will know where you are training. So you see, biceps is broken down into a few area. This whole area is called the bicep brachy. This is the long head and this is the short head. Long head is always on the outer side of your biceps and the short head on the inner side. And what you have on the outside here is called the brachialis. And also before we start, there are two terms which you need to know. One is the pronate, one is the supinate. So when I talk about pronate, it means that it is a mostly reverse curl or things that you turn inwards. And when I say supinate, meaning that it is facing upward, outwards, and it is curling out. Let's start off with the most basic form of all bicep curls where everybody is doing it. It hits both the long head and the short head of the bicep brachy. And not to forget your brachiolis, which is your forearm, okay? So I'm gonna just keep it short. I'm gonna call them the long head and the short head so I don't need to keep on pronouncing bicep brachy, bicep brachy, all right? So remember, short head on the inner side and long head on the outer side of your biceps. And a little recap, this is the brachialis and the forearm here is called brachioradialis. You can do this with the dumbbells, barbells or the easy bar. Okay, so what you need to do is start off with your palm facing forward, which is a supinate and remember to flex your bicep and curl up. All right, so make sure that you don't swing or do your hip thrust. <laughs> we are not doing some other forms of exercises, but remember, okay, chest up and bicep flex up, okay? Make sure it's a good form. From the side, okay? Keep your upper arms straight. Don't keep swinging the upper arms because you're not training your shoulder or your back, okay? Make sure the form is correct, chest up, and pull it up, okay? Curl it inwards, and down. Remember to breathe, so once, well, I always tell my clients, it is like boxing. You never breathe in when you're trying to pull up, throw a punch, right? So same case, remember when you use your strength to bring it up, to curl it up, remember to breathe out, okay? Breathe down and breathe in. Okay, remember breathing is an important part of the training. And if you don't breathe properly, you only struggle harder. Hmm. And the next motion, which is called the supinated bicep curl, which you can only do it either with a rope or dumbbells. Don't mind me using very lightweight because I'm gonna shoot this, well, film myself, one man, one man team, right? And uh, I don't want to be shaking while trying to focus myself. And so the supinated bicep curl is similar, the same basic, but you start off with your palms facing inwards, okay? 
when you supinate, okay, I'm going to show you one arms. When you supinate, remember, supinate from the bottom and bring it up and curl it outwards, all right? Okay, supinate from the bottom, twist the wrist outwards. So, yeah, if you can, maximum reach of your pinky and return it. So, both arm, I see, supinate from the bottom, okay, supinate from the bottom, okay? Remember, don't do what most of them do. They throw it up and huh, supinate at the top. Huh, there's no point. See, you are only using your momentum and you're not using your biceps. And when you see you supinate at the top, you are just not giving your bicep the chance to actually flex and, and squeeze, you know? You're not actually using your muscles. So what you do is from the bottom, okay, from the side view, eh? from the bottom, supinate it up down okay remember from the bottom supin it up okay it's a very smooth motion up and remember this is a one-way street okay if you go driving straight north it goes up north remember if you are reversing it back i don't think the road's gonna be changed you know it, it's gonna st still be the same so return in the same manner okay because it's one way up and one way down so why supinated curl? As you can see, if you don't supinate, okay, when you squeeze it in, see the difference, okay? You're actually hitting the microfibers around the brickies. So you can hit it deeper and harder. The next form I'm gonna show you is called hammer curl. Well, it's not like holding false hammer or anything, but yeah. You're the lord of the hammer. So just like the supinated curl, your palms is facing inward to your thighs. Well, if you want to get technical, to your quadriceps. Okay, chest up, same thing. Okay, make sure the arms, same motion all the way up. So with this hammer curl, you're hitting more on your brachialis. You guys remember where brachialis is? Brachialis sits right below the brachies, okay? It's this area. This is called the brachialis. So when you do hammer curl, it is hitting that part. You can do it straight up. This is a hammer curl. And you can do it inwards. Okay? Most of the time, I like to bend forward so that I will not be hitting myself. So remember, bend forward, bend forward, bend forward. Okay? Same motion, please. Even when you bend forward, don't swing it, okay? There's no point trying to swing it up. Good form, chest up, okay? Lock the lower back and squeeze, okay? And squeeze. One hammer curl hack which I found during this MCO, getting stuck at home and only have two dumbbells, is that I have a lot of time, right? To actually uh, research and do trials and, and experiment on my bicep curls because I only have two dumbbells and I broke two, I tore two resistant band. Anyways, it's the wrist angle. See, most of the time, when we do hammer curl, we end up doing like that. But if you were to point it outwards, maybe 20 to 30 degrees outwards, you actually hit it better. Don't mind the background noises. I'm shooting at a time where everybody is up. And with this hack of hammer curl, see, it's the same motion. It's just the different of your wrist angle, the normal one, and the wrist up. Can you see that it is much more flexed? Give it a try. Another form of bicep curl, which I've been doing, well, since 2010, well, not many people fancy it, you know. There were some, well, lifters around me condemning that form, saying that it is uh, ridiculous. But now, there's a proper name. I guess it's been around. I didn't know. I just figure I need to hit that part of the bicep muscles. It's called <laughs> lateral bicep curl. So with lateral bicep curls, you are literally hitting the inner part of your bicep. Just like any other bicep curl motion, well, as you notice now, all the bicep curls only have one form, right? One motion, it's always like that. So with lateral bicep curl, all you need to do is tuck your elbow 
inwards into your waist and you can do it in a hammer curl style or a supinated style or even you know pronate okay oh, let me show you so let's do the supinated bicep lateral curl so remember tuck your elbow inwards please don't swing it out okay tuck your elbow inwards and curl up okay the motion is facing outwards so when you're doing this you're actually squeezing the inner part of your biceps okay from the corner from the side see it's going upwards see? from the side see it is going outwards so a regular bicep curl would be front and this is the lateral bicep curl so same thing you have to breathe out when you lift it up and breathe in when you release it down okay make sure don't swing it okay keep your arms your elbow tucking and squeeze that bicep same thing with hammer curl squeeze the bicep same thing with pronate curl squeeze the bicep okay so you can see with pronate you are actually hitting more on this part of the forearm the last form I'm gonna show today in this video is called the reverse curl. Well, with pronate curl, it targets a lot on the forearm, which you call it brachioradialis. And of course, not to forget the bicep, right? Well, this form also develops and activates prominent muscles. Forearms is a very complex group of muscles, a lot of serrations, a lot of muscle fibers with long scientific names. But I'm gonna tell you that um, well, we have another segment on forearm training. As we are talking about pronate, the reverse curl, okay, with just simple tweak of your dumbbell, you can actually hit different parts of your muscle fibers on the forearm. And as all bicep curls do, it's the same motion, but this time round, as the name call it, the pronate, the reverse curl, remember, it's a reverse grip. Okay, so there are two ways of doing this reverse grip. All you need to do is change the angle of your wrist. So the first motion is the straight wrist pronate curl, reverse curl. I'm gonna just call it reverse curl, right? It's easier. Okay, so straight wrist up and down, up. Okay, and the second form is okay, make sure you tilt your wrist downwards, even from the beginning. It's downwards, all right? Beginning and all the way through, okay? All the way through. So why two wrist angle for the reverse curl? Let me show you. The first one, okay, straight wrist. If you lift it up, so you can see a lot of pressure, the focus is placed onto this part of the forearms. And, well, you will have the bicep, of course, okay? But this area is being focused when you have it at a straight wrist. But if you bend your wrist downwards, okay, when you lift it up, it hits this area of the bite of, of the forearms, okay. So you can see, right? You can see the movement of the forearms. So you know that it's hitting the different parts of your forearms, and this is important. You have to do two types of reverse curl because you want to have really three D looking forearms, right? Forearm is also the determining factor whether you look strong or not. Look at Popeye. His forearm is massive. Well, of course, there are many more types of bicep workouts around, including preacher curl, incline curl, dumbbell concentrated curl, high pulley concentrated curl, high pulley curl, low pulley curl, barbell rope, easy bar. But if you understand the basics, you will be able to get a good squeeze out of it as long as you master the basic. If you have not subscribed, please like and share my videos to all your friends and people you know which you think this content is going to help them with their bicep workout. And remember to hit that subscription button and smash that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I post another video. I believe everyone knows what bicep curls is and have been doing it since they can remember. But why are there many people who has been doing all these bicep curls, whichever form, yet they are not seeing the proper results. So I'm gonna show you what is sabotaging your bicep results. Number one, too much swinging. See, a lot of people, they focus on momentum. As long as it is as heavy as possible, 
they feel good about lifting that weight with the bicep, but actually they're not. See, most of those people who are doing the bicep curl, they're actually not training their biceps. You, if you notice in the gym, a lot of people, they start off from the back because it's so heavy, they cannot just curl it up. So what they do is they swing, okay? Tell me in the comments below if you notice people actually doing this. Okay, let me show you why that is sabotaging your bicep progress. Okay, first, see, when they swing from behind, they are actually, see, can you see my shoulder? See, they are actually using their shoulder to lift the weight up. Okay, so this is the first form. And when they go up, and the negative rep is not actually working the bicep at all, which they think that they are doing the bicep. But if you notice, this is what they do. See? They're actually using their shoulder to release the weight back down for the negative rep. So how are they going to train their bicep? Correct. The second mistake which they do, they use their hip thrust too much. So what they do is they swing and they lift their arms up so high that the weight is actually not at their biceps, but it's all the way down to the elbow and the shoulders. Or they will go all the way backwards. Okay? I can feel the tense in my lower back, but I'm gonna show you this, okay? But if you look at the motion, right? They're only doing this. There's not even a proper squeeze to the bicep. I don't mind if they have a good squeeze. The problem is, there's none. So remember to be on the lookout for my future videos because I'm starting a new series on working out and how you can master your muscle growth. And don't forget to check out my previous videos where I talk about getting lean without gym. Well, basically nutrition. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.